Okay, future demographers of the world, if you're watching this video, it's because you want to know how to create the most important demographic tool in your arsenal, and that is a population pyramid. It's really very simple once you know how to do it. First things first, sign into your Google Drive account, and once you're there, you're going to click Create, and you're going to create a new spreadsheet. Once you get into this spreadsheet, the very first thing that you'll want to do is retitle it. For this one, I'm going to create a population pyramid for Wright County in 2010. You are going to be creating one for a state that uh, that you got in class today. Um, but right now, you're just going to retitle it Wright County 2010. Population pyramids, they have three key details. The first key detail will be age groups, right? The different age groups, 0 to 4, 5 to, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, so on and so forth. And it will also have different genders or different sexes, male and female. And those are going to be the key characteristics that you're going to need. So you're going to put those in three separate columns, age groups, in A, male and B, female and C. Once you have those groups, you need to go out and find the information. So we're going to go to Google, and if you type in US Census American Fact Finder, it will bring up a link for you, and it will bring up the link to the US Census website, American Fact Finder. It will take you out to a search location. I want to do this for Wright County, Minnesota. Um, you could do it for any location in the United States, but I'm going to do Wright County, Minnesota. I'll click Go. American Fact Finder does its thing, um, and we're almost there. From this, I want to come down to the 2010 census, and I want to go to the general population and housing characteristics of Wright County. So I'll click that link. And once I got get here, I have a wealth of information. I can get general information and see, for example, that 8.1% of the population in Wright County is age 10 to 4. That's a good start, but it doesn't break it down by gender. So I need to scroll down a little bit. And as I do, I get to the male population first, and a little bit further, female population. And this breaks it down. All right, And basically, I'm just going to take this data. So I'm just going to click and drag, and I'm going to highlight all of this information. All right, so I've got all of this information here, and once I have it highlighted, I'm just going to use Control C on the keyboard or right click and copy. And then I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to paste it over here on the right hand side of my screen, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm just going to paste it right over here. I only need some of it. All right, um, I need my age groups, and I actually need them over here. And to do that, I'm going to take them from here. I'm going to cut them by doing Control X. You could also right click and click cut. All right, so I'm going to click Control X and I'm going to come over here under age group and I'm going to do Control V and paste it. And I removed it from E and put it over here under age group. That's a good start. Next, I don't need this total number of population, right? I want to know this in terms of percentages. Um, so I'll just delete that total population. And now all I have left are the raw percentages uh, for my males. Uh, but here's a little trick with the males. I need to leave them. Um, I'm going to bring them over here, or I'm actually going to leave the male number over here, and I'm not going to touch it. Instead, I'm going to come over to cell B2 right here below male, and I'm going to type in the equal sign, and then I'm going to come over here and click my very first number for my male population, right? And it automatically fills it in here, right? See, I clicked the very first one, and it's 4.4, .4, and over here it identifies it as G1. Right, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to hit Shift 8, which is the multiplication sign. Shift 8 for the asterisk. So I'm going to multiply G1 times negative 1. Now hang on. You're wondering why I'm going to do this, and I'll explain in a second. All right, and I do that, and you'll know that you did it correct, because here I can now see that I've got number negative 4.4. Right? And I want to fill in all of this information right here. It's really easy. I don't need to keep typing in all of that special fancy formula. Instead, I can just click B2 here, just like this, and hover my mouse over. Instead of the little handle or the arrow, I hovered over until I got the plus, the cross sign here. I click, and I drag it all the way down to the bottom. And just like that, presto changeo, we can see that it takes all of my male numbers, and it pops them over here, and it puts a negative sign in front of them. And I'll explain why in a second. Once I have that set, I'm good to go, and I can go back over here, and I need to get the information for the females. So I do the same thing. I highlight, and I select all of the female information. I copy, I come back over here, and I paste. 
and I see that I have all of my female information in here. I don't need any of this extra information. I don't need the age groups, and I don't need the total population, so I'm just going to delete it. And with the females, I don't need to do any special formula, so I'm just going to highlight the female information, and I'm going to cut it, Control X, and paste it, Control V. All right, now the hard work is done. All right, I have my information in my spreadsheet. Okay, I've got the information, I've got my age groups, I've got my male, and I've got my female. Again, make sure that your male numbers are negative numbers. And we need it to be negative number, numbers so that we can tell the spreadsheet to create the right type of graph for us. Now I will highlight all of this, right? So I've got A1 all the way down to C19. I've got everything highlighted, just those three columns, and I come up here and click Insert Chart. And this is where I'm going to tell the spreadsheet what type of chart to create. It gives me one that doesn't look like a population pyramid. No good. So instead I click charts and from here I see this bar chart which looks a little bit like a population pyramid. So we're getting warmer and from that bar chart I want to click stacked bar chart. And just like that I see something that looks a little bit like a population pyramid. We're getting somewhere but I notice on this one it's upside down. So we need to make a few more tweaks to it. I come over here and I click Customize, and I'm going to start by giving it a chart title. All right, to give it a chart title, I know that it's Wright County 2010. All right, good. Down here under Features, I'm going to click Reverse. All right, and when I click Reverse, we see that now it puts our population pyramid in order with the age groups on the bottom going from youngest all the way up to oldest. I need to do a few more things. I need to label my axis, right? So I need to label the horizontal or x-axis, and I'm going to title that popu uh, percent of total population, right? Because that's what the x-axis is. It gives me the percent of total population. There we go. Um, I want to have a few labels on here, and I want to give it a few grid lines, right? Right now I only see at 0, 2.5, and 5. I want to give it a few more. I'm going to go ahead and give it 10. Uh, and now I can see a few different kind of grid lines to help me read my graph a little bit better. And that's pretty good. That's all I need to do there. The only other thing I need to do is label my left vertical axis over here, my y-axis, and we know that that's simply age group. And that's simple enough to do. Uh, and my, my chart looks really pretty good. If I want, you can also select compare mode here, uh, which will give you a little bit more information. You can see it gives you that comparison. Um, and then I'll insert my chart. My chart is pretty much done at this point. Right? We can see that my numbers match up. Um, my numbers over here match up with the information over here. The reason that we had to give our male population a negative number is because if we give it a positive number, it's going to put it on the right-hand side with the females. So whatever information you need to have on the left here, you need to make sure that's negative. But that's basically how you do a population pyramid. The final step for this, the final step for this is you're going to um, click on your population pyramid here. You're going to click the little drop-down arrow and you are going to simply click Save Image, or I'm sorry, you're going to click Copy Chart, okay, and it basically copies this chart. I get the message that it's copied. I'm going to go back to Drive. I'm going to create a new document, and when I create that new document, I've got my chart copied. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in straight away. Hit Control V, and from there, I'm going to retitle it, and I'm going to it, title it Wright County Population Pyramid. And from there, we can see that I've got my population. I can click and drag it a little bit bigger. Um, and below that, I'm going to identify a potential dilemma that Wright County might be facing with their population pyramid and a potential solution for that. And that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. If you get stuck, go back, rewind, pause, take your time, follow your direction sheet, and you should be good to go. Best of luck.